Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's Amin here from Muslim CEO and welcome to another episode of Amin Reacts. Uh, this is a series where I look at marketing on the web and show you the good, the bad and the ugly of it. Um, today, uh, I'm accompanied by this funny stop spot on my nose. It's uh, really, it looks worse in real life actually. So, alhamdulillah for that. And we're looking at Al Maghrib Institute today, a page that they've put together. They are in my opinion, one of the organizations, Islamic organizations who are the best at marketing, okay? They're the best at communicating their value and really uh, persuading people and inspiring people to take action, to get involved, okay? So having said that, let's look at their crowdfunding campaign that they put together recently for Ramadan 2020 or 1442, is it? Um, and um, yeah, let's get right into it. Let's see uh, what they've done well and maybe where they could improve. Okay, so first thing we see here is that they have called the, the campaign Guardians of Knowledge. Okay, so that's something more of an inspirational kind of title rather than an informative one. And I think the reason they went for that is because they know most of the money uh, for this campaign is going to come from uh, supporters, uh, Al Maghrib audience, their mailing list, stuff like that. And for that reason, they don't need to uh, draw you in with some, um, you know, curiosity driven headline or uh, something where it's like we're going to do this in the headline <clears throat> it's just something more inspirational and more like storytelling so that's why they used um, guardians of knowledge then it says uh, the sub sub headline for 18 years al maghrib has educated inspired and connected the largest student body of islamic studies in the english speaking world now we need your help Okay, so this is re reciprocity happening here. They're basically saying that for, for 18 whole years, we've been giving, 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 giving. Now, could you give? You get it? 18 years we've been giving. Now, is it too much to ask for us to ask you now to give, right? Um, and the, the rule of reciprocity basically is that if somebody gives to you, then when they ask you for something, you're much more likely to give to them. Okay, that's the rule of reciprocity. So they're using it well here. They've got um, some, also some social proof here. So they're saying they've been at it for 18 years. So that's trust. Okay, tick box there. Um, they've uh, got the largest student body of Islamic studies in the English speaking world. Again, tick box, social proof. If, if so many people are studying with them, they must be good, right? And they're saying, they make it very clear, now we need help. OK, you can see they've raised one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in what I'm guessing is 19. Uh, sorry, 11 days. OK, since the first Ramadan. So um, that's great. Hit their goal in 11 days and I'm sure they'll go beyond it. Maybe they'll go to three hundred thousand, two hundred and something thousand, uh, inshallah. Um, so they got a video. It's a shorter video. As you can see, I'm not going to go through the video, but it's interesting. Next, um, they start with storytelling. Okay, that's something to, to really learn from this campaign is that they're starting with a hadith. They're starting with the army of hardship was the name given to the campaign of Tabuk. Resources were minimal. Times were hard. The fear was prevalent. So they're, they're setting the tone here for the campaign that basically just how then people were struggling, the, the, the battle of Tabuk, it was difficult. We're also struggling now. Okay. And then they go on to say, it's a hadith, right? And they go on to say, it was a moment uh, in, it was a moment in, time that Uthman captured. The hardship passed, but Uthman's place was forever cemented. We are looking for those aiming to walk in Uthman's footsteps. Again, storytelling. Will you be the Uthman of 2020? Will you help Al Maghrib Institute out? Right? And that's why if you look at the perks, we're going to look at them. All of them are names of companions and also guardians of knowledge. It's like, okay, Uthman uh, today, maybe he wouldn't be supporting the uh, battles, maybe he'd be supporting knowledge and preserving Al Maghrib Institute. I don't know about that, by the way, but um, uh, it's the idea, it's the story that they're telling here. So then they get straight into it. They say Al Maghrib needs your help. Okay. Um, COVID 19 caused them problems. We're more vulnerable than we have ever been. So I like that sentence. It's very clear. We are more vulnerable than we have ever been. Yeah, it's kind of like that, um, you know, those Apple events where they're saying it's the best app iPhone we've ever made, right? It really, I don't know, it captures something in your emotions there, okay? Um, I like interesting how they've centered it. 
okay uh together we can get through this so there's optimism there storytelling that's why we're asking you to invest in al maghrib institute so now they're using first they said help now they're using the word invest and maybe that's because they're getting clearer and clearer and more specific to basically we need your money okay invest so again social proof saying look we've educated 172,000 students 40 cities you know so and so live seminars all these different countries Basically, we're good at this. You don't want us to go away. You, you need to help us here. Okay. Uh, the moment. So I don't know what that title means. I don't like it. I don't get it. Right. The moment. Uh, I think it's it, maybe it's leading on from this. Like it was a moment in time that Uthman captured. But still, I don't remember that person. I had to think about that. So um, for guardians of Mother Institute who carry us through the crisis with contributions of a thousand or more, I guess, we are pleased to offer lifetime access to faith essentials so that they're saying look you're helping us we're really good at what we do you're helping us survive um, but on top of that we're also going to give you something that you're going to benefit from uh, in the dunya i suppose like obviously sadaqa is for the akhir but this is for the dunya we're giving you lifetime access so because they have so much to offer they can give this for free right uh, not for free but they can give a lot in exchange for your donation so lifetime access to faith essentials as well as access to 10 seminars okay so they made this a different color to really highlight what you're getting and they're good at that they're good at highlighting the benefit for the person giving they got some slick images here nice uh, you know the normal branding kind of thing photos you know again social proof these are the teachers we have behind us kind of thing um we pray it be a source of immense sadaqa for you. Okay, so that's the other benefit to you. So they're focusing on the benefit for you. And then what are you supporting? Basically, what are they going to do with it? And I didn't read this that deeply, but basically it says they're going, the investment in growth, academics, and scholarships. So, and then they kind of highlighted that with a pretty nice uh, image here, pretty slick. Um, I wonder if this is readable on mobile as well because um you know in mobile the the text will kind of scale but images can't scale so that would be interesting to see um and so basically they're saying i think that they're going to they've given free access for people for faith essentials and basically i think they need resources to keep things going or something okay so maybe that's not very clear obviously i could have taken longer to read into it but it's not 100 percent clear okay where the money is going what they need it for um and then if we look at the perks so they've got uh, these different names sahaba al qaqa um sulaim uh, zainab so yeah and what you can see is the lowest donation that they're suggesting is 50 dollars okay so they're really looking for those loyal al maghrib institute supporters who are going to give 50 dollars or more um okay and you can give less than that but it's just not obvious okay so 50 dollars the minimum 120 and then look they go up to a thousand dollars five thousand dollars and ten thousand dollars and look two people have given ten thousand dollars each okay and then three people have given five thousand each so from just these two they've generated uh 15 uh, uh 15 was it 20 35 thousand dollars and then from the thousand dollar level they've generated another thirty thousand dollars so from these higher tiers they've generated sixty five thousand dollars which is about just under half of the of the total goal okay so that shows the power of high level perks okay and they're, they're offering a lot they have a lot of you know history behind them but that just shows the power of that something for us to learn from so overall obviously it's a great campaign i think it's a campaign very much focused though on getting their existing um uh, audience to give okay i don't think this would work so well if you were unknown or you were known but not as big um i think you would need to do more storytelling and give more details on this side of the uh, campaign page okay i haven't watched the video maybe the video gives more details um but yeah, it's a great campaign, of course. They've smashed through their goal, and I expect them to go further than that. And part of that is because of being clear about what you're getting, why you should give. And part of it is also the storytelling element. Okay, so thanks for watching this video with me here today. Hope you benefited from it. And uh, yeah, if you want our training, check the link below this video, inshallah. We have some amazing training on how to grow your business or organization. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.